It is sometimes useful to group objects so that they can be moved or resized together and act as if they are a single object, such as these examples. To create a group like this from these parts, the first step is to move the items on top of each other. The snap lines show when things are centered. With an item selected, use the shift key and click another item to add it to the selection. Tapping with shift on an already selected item will remove it from the selection. See that the status line changes to show what's selected. When you have a multiple selection like this, you can drag and resize it as a multiple selection, and that's very useful. But if you want the items to be permanently locked together, then choose the group option from the menu. The group is now treated as one object and can be moved by dragging on any object within the group. The group can also be copied and pasted, duplicated or deleted. And there's also a handle here to resize the group. If I want to add another item to the group, such as this caption, I can either ungroup it, add to the selection and regroup it. Or I can just add the new item to the group to form a new group. Here I'm adding my caption. So I make sure the group is selected. Hold shift and click the text. The status line confirms I have two objects selected. See also that the size of the box around the selection has increased. And now I can select group. When you have a group selected, the status line will tell you it's a group and a blue outline will appear around the outside. In order to edit the things inside the group, it's usually necessary to ungroup, but there are exceptions. If the group contains any text, a symbol or a photo, these can be edited directly in the group. So here you can see I just click on the text and edit it, without having to ungroup. Similarly, if I click on the symbol in this group, you get a Replace Symbol menu option which shows you have symbol selected inside the group. And I can adjust its colour or transparency. At any time you can select the entire group by clicking on the outside edge and it goes dark blue to show the group is selected. When you ungroup a group, all the items are selected as you can see here. So we still have a multiple selection. Click the background to clear the selection and then select each item individually. Because adding or removing from a selection requires a shift key, unfortunately, at present, multiple selection does not work on touch devices. Support for this will be added later.